Amen. Amen. You can do better than that. Good evening. Good evening. It's a blessing to be here. Yeah. I grew up in Rancho, Illinois with great people like John Whaley, Rashad Collins, and Lloyd Mosley. And then I went to college in Nashville, Tennessee, at Tennessee State, and I met great people like B.J. Salisbury and Randy Fuller. And then I moved here to Columbus, Georgia, and I met Chris Green, who was on 92.7. And for over a year, we did Inspirational Wednesday. So you may ask, what do all these great people have in common? Well, throughout the year, they all moved down to Houston, Texas. And indirectly or directly, they're all affected by Hurricane Harvey. And through phone calls and seeing their stories on social media, I was inspired to tell you about this man. This man was not chicken to get to the other side. The flow of waters receded, but not all the way. He didn't have a boat, and his car would not make it. But there was a great opportunity on the other side. He wasn't scared, so he got prepared. He took off his shoes, took off his socks, rolled up his pants, put his shoes in his hand, and his socks in his pocket, and he started to walk through the water. Then he started to see waves, and these waves were signs. He started to wave goodbye to depression. He started to wave goodbye to disappointment. See, sometimes in your life, you have to walk through obstacles to get to your opportunities. So sometimes he wade in the water, and sometimes he had to wait in the water, but he kept on walking till he got to the other side. When he got to the other side, he pulled out a rag out of his pocket, wiped off his legs and his feet, pulled his pant legs down, put his shoes back on. So he went into the building for an interview. And when he got in there, the HR manager said, I'm glad you made it. And more importantly, you made it on time. But right now, we can't give you the job. And he said, why? He said, because I dress cold and strictly in force. No shirt and tie, no job. And we don't lower our stands for anybody. So the man reached into his pocket like he was looking for a tie. But all he saw, what he sucks. <laughs> huh. So the HR manager looked at him and he said, my man, if you don't do something with these socks, <laughs> you have to go back out that door and kick rocks. <laughs> so the man looked at the socks and he started putting them together like they was networking and building a relationship. And it started to come to life. Because he stuck his neck out for this opportunity. And he said, I can't go back home without a job. So he said, I got to make something happen. So he started playing with it, started working with it. He said, I can't go back. He said, I can't fail. So he, he kept working with it. And seen it come to life. He kept working with it. Just like our dreams, we keep working, keep growing. Keep stretching, keep living. Sooner or later, it's gonna work out for us. See, sometimes in our lives, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta kick off our shoes and socks, roll down our pants legs, and have the faith to walk on water like Jesus. Yeah. Yeah.